This morning, Boise State is making strides to help our environment. The university is trying to reduce the amount of food waste that goes to our landfills. Now, the Idaho Department of Environmental Quality is looking to support those efforts. Brenda Rodriguez is back in studio now live with us. So how is the DEQ helping out with this cause, Brenda? Yes, Doug, the Department of Environmental Quality says that they are awarding Boise State with a $73,000 grant for their efforts to eliminate food waste. Now, Boise State says they plan to use those funds to kickstart the university's goal to compost more and waste less. Reducing your food waste can help everyone live a more sustainable life. So Boise State University, with the help of the Idaho Department of Environmental Quality, is taking real steps to be more mindful in their efforts to do just that. They have a really strong track record um, of implementing food waste diversion initiatives at the school. To help the initiative, the DEQ awarded the university $73,200. DEQ's Pollution Prevention and Continuous Improvement Lead, Ben Jarvis, says BSU plans on using that money to focus on reducing its residential hall food waste. The first step will be to purchase a food waste digester. The food waste digester is going to be able to take all of the solid food that's coming out of the front of house and back of house operations, including things like um, meat, fish, poultry, other things that would n normally not be available for composting. They're anticipating that they're going to be able to divert approximately 47,600 pounds of food away from the landfill by implementing this digester. The grant is coming from the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency's Sustainable Material Management Program. The agency says their goal is to help other environmental organizations and efforts to better our environment. The grant projects are all directed at increasing the amount of waste that is going to be diverted from the landfill, and that can take that can take the form of construction and demolition waste. It can take the form of food waste. It can take the form of increasing the recovery of recyclable materials or reducing packaging waste. Jarvis says there is still $146,000 left in the budget, so they will offer another opportunity for more local organizations to get involved. If you're involved with a solid waste district, if you're involved with the local government, if you have a, you know, a, a materials management, solid waste diversion type of concern, you know, this, this grant funding is going to become available here really soon. 47,000 pounds, a lot of waste to yeah. keep out of the uh, landfills just from Boise State. So, Brenda, I'm curious, does the DEQ check in on these projects to, to see how they are coming along over time? Yes, they do. Jarvis says that they will keep in touch with Boise State to check out their process uh, over time with this new food waste project. And we'll also have more information on how you or your organization can submit a proposal to apply for the next rounds of awards on our website at KTVB.com.